I've never been particularly interested in doing my own speed runs before. Uh, Bone Lab came out and I kept doing all these different challenges like playing with one arm, uh, playing basically blind, uh, all these other things like that. And as I did all these different challenges, I kind of interested in actually speedrunning Bone Lab. But I didn't want to speedrun all of Bone Lab because I don't really know how I'm ever even going to be able to do that. Maybe I'll go to that at some point in the future. But we have Sprint Bridge. Something with a built-in timer. Something that actually times you. Some of these other levels and stuff do that too. So maybe I can go, to, go through those and do speedruns of those as well. But Sprint Bridge has always interested me. Especially since they updated it and added all these enemies and the helicopter and everything like that. I wanted to see how fast I could actually beat this level. Because I already knew a couple of shortcuts from previous levels, previous attempts at doing these other challenges like playing with one arm or playing a pacifist run. I've done this level so many different times in so many different ways and so I'm wondering if there's not a very fast efficient way to do this. So I'm going to continue and try to speed run sprint bridge as many times as possible until I can get a time that I'm satisfied with. The rules are that I cannot abuse any kind of glitch, I cannot use any kind of mod, but I can of course use the tools that the game allows me to use, such as the um, avatar changer. For this speedrun, I'm going to be using the tall avatar a lot, um, but I won't be using any weird speedrun glitches or bugs that allow you to like use your avatar changer to kind of like rocket yourself forward. I've seen that before in a speedrun somewhere. Uh, some wacky glitches like that definitely will not be used in this, but I will be taking a lot of interesting shortcuts and trying my hardest at this. So let's go ahead and see what this is like. What you're seeing right now is my first attempt at it, and obviously it did not go super well. I spent way too long worried about the enemies. It didn't really work out too much because, again, I was worried about the enemies, but I did get a much better time than what I had previously. Uh, my previous time for this, I don't even remember what it was, but it was a faster time for this. So I did a much better job, but as the time went on, I did much better. My first idea was to just kind of use the tall character to jump over the barriers as you saw on that first attempt there. I just kept jumping over the barriers with the tall character and just running through it as quickly as I possibly could. I already knew this one shortcut where you didn't even have to actually activate the crate container metal container thingy <laughs> you didn't have to actually activate or move the metal container thingy because of the the weird pole thing that sticks out you can actually latch onto it grab onto it and then pull yourself up to the next section if you're using a tall avatar like the default tall here uh, and so that's what I did. That was the only shortcut I knew of. I had one other theoretical shortcut, and I wasn't sure if it was actually even possible, but I did, after so many attempts, finally try it, and that was to jump from this metal crate onto the next section so I didn't have to actually go around and then through the tunnel. So I could skip the tunnel entirely with this shortcut, and that's what I did. And it's, it's a little bit of a difficult jump, honestly, because you have to do it just... The timing is just, has to be almost perfect. And it's kind of hard to see because you're tall, obviously, and you hit your head. And so if you don't jump just right, you're going to hit your head. Another shortcut that I found later on is these steps that I'm climbing over right now. You can see that, like, obviously it was a little bit of a struggle to actually jump onto those. But later on, I just realized I didn't have to really do that. I could just go through the other way and kind of do that. Another thing, too, that I, that I learned the more I went through this is that I realized I didn't actually have to worry about the enemies. Now you see it here, I grabbed the barrel to try and throw it at the enemies and somehow I ended up with a mag. Don't know how that happened. But I realized, oh, hang on, they, even if they shoot me a couple times, I'm going to be fine because I, that, the tall avatar has a lot of health. And so I wouldn't have to actually worry about it. I should be fine. And so I just went past them, ran across the bridge. And this was my, I think I actually got a better time on this one, on this run here. Um, but obviously you can see here, I'm making these like jumps here to try and jump the corners and everything. I switch over to the, um, to a different avatar, the fast girl. I think her name is literally just fast because I realized that you can press the button multiple times. So if I try to duck under there or like accidentally hit the button or something when I'm trying to squeeze through it, I'll actually close it and that will cost me a lot of time. So I just figured I would switch back to the fast girl since she's already fast. Um, and then I could just squeeze underneath. And as you can see there, yeah, a minute 30. That is definitely a great time for this. Boom. Okay, what was the time this time? Dang, I cut it down tremendously. I went from two minutes in, in like seven seconds to a minute 30. Let's see if I can do even faster than that. Minute 30. Time to beat. Minute 30. But uh, I does get even faster than this. This gave me a lot of hope because right around this point, I did realize that, yeah, that other shortcut, if I'm going to beat this time, I'm going to have to consider using that theoretical shortcut. And so from this point on, I try to use the theoretical shortcut. Uh, I think I ended up testing it uh, a few times and it, it ultimately works. It works. It definitely works. And that's what I use to get this ultimate time that I got here at the end. 
but I try to also find out all these other different shortcuts and stuff like that. So I ultimately decided on one of these runs, I'm just going to ignore all the rules. I'm going to get my dev tool out and just fly around and see if there's some weird thing that I can latch onto. See if there's some weird shortcut that I'm not seeing because I can't see because I'm not flying around. But if I fly around, maybe I can find the shortcut and then use it in a normal, proper run. And so that's what I did looked around I saw that you could climb onto this wall and once you're on top of the wall you can actually jump onto the bridge but once you do that the um the wall there's like a weird quarantine wall that blocks you from the next section almost as if they knew a player would do this for some reason and so you can't actually get around that um but you can use this as a shortcut to get to the next section where you then climb onto the container like I showed you earlier um and that's what I did ultimately I decided that this is just way too difficult and it actually wouldn't save me very much time at all maybe if I got extremely good with it it and was able to climb onto it and get balanced on it perfectly every single time maybe it would be a viable strategy but i i i'm not good at, at doing this and the jankiness of this game makes it very random whether or not you're going to get launched off this obstacle or not and so i ultimately decided not to do it and just try out this other strategy um, but I obviously failed a lot of times. There was a lot of weird mistakes, a lot of dumb mistakes. The time I got at the very end, I probably could have beaten as well because I kind of messed up on climbing up. The, the climbing is a little bit inconsistent in this game, so sometimes that will get you. Uh, what am I stuck on? Oh, my foot got caught in the... What is this? The game has cheated me. What? My hand isn't even stuck. It's just like, it's just... It's not inside the... It, what is going on? Uh, here's one other glitch that stopped me. My hand got stuck inside the wall for some reason. It's like on top of the wall, and yet the game thinks it's inside the wall, or it thinks I'm gripping onto it no matter what I do, and it was... It was very frustrating. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I, I, I kept going at it, and this happened here. I, I got this time, this was my final run, and I just went for it. I'm doing... I'm not doing this. So fast, I can barely keep up with myself. <laughs> Come on, climb. You can climb. Why is it not climbing? <sighs> Almost there. One more shot. I need to lose some weight. <laughs> throw, throw, throw the, throw the mags away. Get, get, lose some weight. <laughs> oh, I did. I actually did beat it right there by a lot. Actually, holy cow. Okay. Wow. I didn't I didn't use the weird new technique. I just used the same old technique. And I, and there's still room for improvement cuz I kind of messed up on that run too. I wonder if I can beat it. I wonder if I wonder if I can get it under a minute or like close to a minute. And there you have it. That's the time I'm going with. 1 minute, 17 seconds, and 18 milliseconds. Let me know in the comments below if you guys can beat this time without using any bugs or glitches or without using any kind of mods whatsoever. Uh, I'd definitely love to see those runs, so you guys can share links to them in the comments below as well if you wanted to. I don't care. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this speedrun regardless. I tried it one more time after that time because I was like, oh, I messed up on the stairs. Surely, surely I can do better than that. And so I tried again, and what you're seeing now in the background is that final final attempt and either it was the exact same time or I, I it was slightly longer somehow it looks to me that it's not but somehow it is like longer and I guess maybe because I, I took a little bit too long on on jumping there and maybe because I, I it made it a little bit more difficult to actually climb up this section here or something I'm not really sure um, but yeah um, 
I, it was it was a lot of fun. Let me know as well if you guys want to see me do speed runs of something else like the rooftops or or maybe even the one where you have to go around and killing the enemies and stuff to beat them in the next section. I forget what it's called. Um, Street Puncher, I think it's called. Uh, but yeah, please do also consider liking, subscribing, sharing the video or the channel around. I greatly appreciate all of the support that you guys have given me so far and support that you have yet to give me. Uh, and yeah, uh, until next time, remember most importantly to stay asleep. Oh my god, I'm gonna beat it <laughs> by a lot. That's it this time. Come on, come on, come on. What was the time? What was the time? What was the time? Oh no, it was, it wasn't. I either beat it by a few milliseconds or I didn't really beat it that much at all. I, there was a part where I flubbed up a little bit too, but I don't, I don't know if I can do better than that. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick with that. That's going to be my, my, my official run right there. One minute, 17 seconds and 18 milliseconds. Uh, there you go. That, that's the best I can do. <laughs>